Alright, first thing first, what I use to do my video editing is Video Shop. It's on iPhone. I don't know if they make this for Android, but this is what I use. And this is how I'm going to show you how to make some of these videos. Okay, so here we are. We are staring at my vault. And it's empty in there because I built everything outside here. And this is the vault I use for my Quest for Glory 2 video. And there's Batman and Robin and the Ghost Trap. And they are about to grab that Necronomicon and have their quest for glory. So, if you're recording, you're going to be recording vertical, and when you screen record, it's going to record these buttons down here and the exit sign up top. So our goal is to crop those out so you don't see those and the video looks much better. And I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on doing that to help you out so you know exactly where you're filming. So if you're doing a YouTube short video or TikTok, they use the vertical video. If you're wanting a widescreen 16 by 9, well, you, you can't blow it out, crop, and then blow it out that big. Um, the closest I can get is 4 by 3, I believe, and it's not widescreen, but it's as close as I can get by cropping this stuff out on the um, sides. But for now, we're going to do the vertical recording. Um, I'm going to show you my trick, which is electrical tape. So I take electrical tape, and I'll put it across the screen where the exit button is. And then I'm going to take another piece and put it right above the buttons down here. So now I have exactly the spot that it's going to record without that I'm going to crop it to so I know when I'm filming this is what my scene looks like and it's not going to I don't have to worry about moving in front of those buttons or the exit sign. So let me scroll around, get rid of the highlight here if I can. All right, so I'm going to record here. Go to screen record. Now I'm recording and I'm just going to navigate around. And you have to learn how to do this smoothly to make the video look good. And it takes some practice. So I'm just going to come around here by Batman and Robin. I'm just going to circle around them. I'm going a little fast, but this is just for demonstrational purposes. There's Batman, and he's going to come and check out the Necronomicon. Ooh, there it is. So anyways, I'm going to stop recording here, and then we're going to go open up Video Shop and I'm going to show you just some basics. I'm not going to show you all the in-depth stuff of video editing, but I'll just show you some basics um, on there. So I'm going to take this tape off and go to Video Shop here. Okay, once on Video Shop, open up a new video. I'm going to click Import, select Photos. I'll select my video. Done. Okay, so there's the video I just recorded. As you can see, it recorded the buttons oops, and the exit sign and all that. So what I want to do is I want to crop that out. So I go to resize here. Um, you've got 9 by 16 is what I'm going to click on. And then I'm going to blow this out to where it gets rid of the areas I wanted it to crop. So it got rid of the bottom buttons here and the exit sign up top and then that saves it there. So now if I play this you don't see any of those buttons and you get the much better looking visual without those buttons in the video. So that's just the beginning of how to do um, that would be 9 by 16 if you're doing the vertical screen. Now I'm going to show you another trick to do 
how I do my videos on YouTube, which is uh, horizontal. Okay, so I guess you got the idea of that um, little trick. Now, let's say I want to do... Let's see, you can't, you can't do the 16 by 9 because that's too wide. I mean, you could... I guess you could blow it out that wide. Um, I haven't done it like that because it's too much to crop and I like to get more in the, the shot that I can. So what I do is I go to 4x3. It's a little... I believe that. Or is it... Yeah, that's what I do. 4x3. And... So you don't get as much shot in here. You have to f literally film this different if you're going to do 4x3. So you have to think how you want the video filmed and if you want it vertical or horizontal. So you're not. it's going to even crop out more than you anticipated when you're originally filming. Which you can move some of that around, but um, here's the other trick to do this is since this is your screen here on the um, 4x3 I'm gonna take the tape and actually put it where the screen is and then I'll do that for the bottom part there so now I know when I record this is pretty much the screen size I need to be recording on so now if I Close this out, go to, let's see, I need to move this tape so I can get to my VV app. Okay, so now I'm back on VV, and I have my screen where I want it to record now for the wider screen. Let's see, get rid of, there we go. Okay, so now I'm only filming what's in this little section here, but that helps me out because I know that that's I know what's gonna be in the shot so now if I do screen record hit record now I could film I'm getting stuck on the floor here so now I filmed this and now I can see exactly what the video is gonna what's gonna be on the video so this really helps keep everything in frame Just like that. And bam! So there I have it. I'm going to stop recording. And now I'll take the tape off. Go back in to my video shop. And let's see. I'm just going to start a new one. I'm going to import that video I just did. Alright. So open that up. Okay, so here we are. This is the video I just did. Now if I go to resize and I go to 4x3, now I can blow the video up to where, and size it to where I just recorded it. So now when I play it, everything is in shot, or in frame, this way. And that's how you're going to make your videos look much better depending on if you want more of a vertical versus horizontal shot. So you're going to see me come around Batman and Robin and everything's in shot because that tape helped me out to where I knew exactly where it was going to be when I cropped it. So that's just a little tip and trick to help your videos get better. If you enjoyed that tip and that trick, then go hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. And I will holler at you next time and bring you some more chill crazy videos. See y'all.